G'day, I'm Mad Matt. You know, one of the great things about owning a four-wheel drive is getting out on the sand. Now, in preparation for that, I've let my tyres down to about 15 psi. Now, there's a whole heap of tips, tricks and techniques that are really important for us to understand so that we can drive on the sand safely. And I'd like to share with you some of the things I've learned over the years of doing it. Now, when we're down at the beach, we've got to be aware of other vehicles that are driving along the beach because it's quite dangerous if they were to hit us, obviously. We also need to be aware that there's other things like our tides going on. So while you're down at the beach, enjoying the waves, throwing a line in, doing all these great stuff, you're safe. The tides in particular, high tide, low tide, you need to be aware of it. I'll come back and get the fish later on. So with this crossing, the only safe way I can figure to get across here is to drive over this escarpment. Now what's going to happen when I approach, the weight of my vehicle is going to push a lot of the sand down and it's going to create a natural ramp so that I can drive across this crossing. Okay, the sand's starting to collapse, there it goes. Alright, so here we go. Tell you what, that's steep. Okay, the back's down. Now I come onto the power and drive across. How cool is that? The main reason we let tyre pressures down on the sand is so that the tyre can effectively float on top of the sand. The faster we're going, the more the tyre tends to float. And that, the reason for that is because we give the tyre a much bigger footprint. So when you're driving in sand, you tend to change gears earlier than you would when you're driving on the street and that allows the engine to be developing its maximum power so that you can get through the deep sand. When we're going up a sand dune, the key to getting up there and safely is to do it straight. Straight onto the sand dune and up you go. Plenty of power, but keep the vehicle straight. If you stall and you have to come back, make sure you keep the vehicle straight at all times. When we're driving out on the beach areas or out even in the deserts, there's a lot of plants and, and native flora and fauna that we, we really should stay away from with our vehicles. One of the challenges we have when we're driving on a sand dune, especially if there's a wind blowing, it's that we get the sand changing the contours of the sand dune. What that means is we can't actually see where the edge of sand dune is and therefore we could be driving along a sand dune that all of a sudden comes to an edge comes to a cliff and we could drive over a cliff quite unexpectedly. I've had that happen to me, it is scary. So if you've got wind, a lot of sun on the sand, look out for glare. When we're coming up a sand dune and we come to the crest of the dune, back off the accelerator so that you don't go over the dune too fast. If you go over the dune too quickly and your front wheels leave the ground, when you land, you can break suspension components, bend your differentials, you can really damage your vehicle. As we drive in sand, because we've got our tyres aired right down, be really careful when you do sharp turns. What can happen is you can roll the tyre off your rim and then the rim will dig into the sand and many vehicles have been rolled because of that happening. So always be careful, slow down and make your turn slowly. So when you're out on the sand, four wheel driving, keep in mind that the key is momentum and power. When you're going up a dune, go straight up a dune. When you're going down a dune, go straight down the dune. Keep that in mind, you'll stay safe. Uh, well, I never thought of myself as much of a fisherman, but I reckon I've done all right today. All right, time to go home. So I'm Mad Matt. Stay safe on the sand, won't you?